Yo, what's good? Welcome back to Sidemen Reacts. Today you have myself, Vic, and Josh, and we are reacting to Google's brand new one billion dollar UK headquarters. Wait, UK? Sheesh. UK? Wait, is this in? Basically, is this King's Cross? We'll see. It doesn't look like King's. Ah, uh, maybe that is. No, it doesn't look like it. Have we missed we'll something see. in this part in this whole COVID time? They've been building the whole time. <laughs> They've been building, bro. We're, we're trying is to. This YouTube space men. is gone. <laughs> This is where we're leveling up to next, by the way. Yeah, okay. Well, Side Ben's new $1 billion UK headquarters. Imagine some reaction to that would be a go <laughs> <laughs> If only. Run the video. Run this it, run long it. and low Leviathan is Google's glossy new London headquarters. So Ooh. lengthy it's been dubbed the landscaper oh, right by locals. Over We've 1 million here. square feet it of floor sick. space, it accommodates basketball courts, a theatre, massage parlours, and it is, nap right? pods shared between some 4,500 staff. Real estate. I haven't seen so the massage parlours. So what's up with that unusual parlor. design? Oh. How's the neighbourhood? <laughs> we haven't been invited. And, um, aren't office blocks a bit 2019? We've been on that roof though. Join us yeah. now for a grand tour around Google's it's new, new though, UK like headquarters. Section. The North London district of King's Cross, where Google's go, new go, gap go. is going, has something of a checkered past. Nine and three quarters. It was first a site of great commercial importance when the newfangled steam railways and London's Regent's Canal opened in the 19th century. Alas, from about 1980 onwards, King's Cross sadly descended into vice and squalor as old school industry fled the city. However, since 2000, mm. developers have been gussying this up the yeah, neighborhood through a monumental multi-decade investment program. This is, yeah, this is where and it it's happened. easy to see why big employers like Google and its soon-to-be neighbor Facebook are moving in. King's Cross is incredibly well served for transport links. You can go is, anywhere is, in is, London is by spot. tube in a matter of minutes. Next door, you can jump on a train to Paris, to not to mention the well. regular fast rail services to Oxford, mm. Cambridge, and Hogwarts. King's Cross okay. is an attractive hey, prospect yeah, yeah, for workers yeah, yeah. too. Just ask Huge the local hog. talent. The, hog was. the area is brimming with brains. Google's new home will be within strolling distance of the British Museum, the Francis Crick and the Turing Institute's prestigious oh, University this guy knows College his stuff, London, you know? University He's done his College Hospital, the Wellcome Trust, and any and number of biotech and AI see startups. It. Lately, it this ultra-commutable egghead enclave has stolen the crown from London's other wannabe tech hub. A grimy junction above Old Street Underground. Grimy in the way. Enter Google, whose grand new edifice is said to have cost somewhere in the it region of a billion like pounds. It's <laughs> 11 stories high no, and stretches bit, 330 like. meters Wait, along the King's Cross railway bit. tracks. That's longer oh, than the London's tallest building. Bit. The Shard is high, Wait, by the way. Are they building this Many now, Londoners though? say this development. Wait, may... when, it, when did this video drop? Oh yeah! yeah oh shit! This is new. Oh wow! This came out. Oh okay. Yo, Google, my guys, yo, you know how we're making you them videos all the time. You know these hey, sides come through. They've been doing a good job for you in the UK. We've been holding it down throughout lockdown. We've been holding Talk it down. To me. You know? I think it's, you saying, you know, it's time for a little chat. What are you saying? Sidemen X Google. I'll drop you an email. I'll drop you an email. We'll let, we'll let, yeah, let you know. <laughs> Throw up a couple Let's of X-Axes on, on the, the wall. <laughs> Let's put our name on the front. Yeah, that's all we want. Can you have like our handprints outside or something at least? Come on. Yeah. Oh, that would be so sick. Be Give so us seven good. stars on the pavement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask oh, much. Dear. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice change from all those priapic skyscrapers. The new HQ That's was designed work, in a collaboration priapic. between Copenhagen's right, star architect Bjarke Ingels and King's Cross. <laughs> Wait, hold up, boys! I'm going to the office. To the office. To the office. To the office. <laughs> I haven't got a green screen. Just need to get a green, on green on screen, screen bro. Bro. Priapic, relating to or resembling a phallus. What? Right, sick word, Vic. Well done, mate. Great word. That's what that's what he meant when he said the gherkin, bro. It looks like a phallus. And oh, yeah, they're putting they're putting another uh, phallic shaped object there, right? They're putting the tulip there. Two priapic Jeez. structures in the centre. Just dominating the London skyline. It's two huge <laughs> dongs. <laughs> that's what I call it. Bjark Ingalls and King's Cross based wee. Heatherwick Studios. Heatherwick, who, as it happens, just completed a lavish £100 million refit of nearby Coldrops Yard shopping centre, is no stranger to Cockney We've icons. Been there. Heatherwick yeah. designed the flaming cauldron centrepiece for London's 2012 Olympic that Games and the city's curvaceous new look route know, master they're, buses. They're about, you know. Google's UK buses, HQ, you know. which found a landing Curvy. page commissioned <laughs> after dismissing another <laughs> top architect's plans as <laughs> boring, buses. really is a bit special. There's a large multi-lane upper story swimming pool, cutting what? edge sports facilities. Is it just me or does that swimming pool not look so, nice? And you, you are a swimming pool connoisseur, so you can tell us. Wait, it is, it, is it raised? If you yeah, look, if you look, to, like, if you look to the right hand yeah. side, right? There's a walkway it, Yeah, that's what it. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It, it's something weird about it. I don't like no, it. No, go back. Go back to the sports thing, please. TV series, One Tree Hill. They're from, this is 
Very cute. Well, I guess it's stock. It's stock, right? It's stock, real. Look at it. They cut that out. No, but they cut that from a Yeah, look at the basketball. It's bloody clip art, mate. Maybe on Microsoft Word. Yeah, you have that. Microsoft Word and put two basketballs. Billion dollars and you're using clip art. One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill. Shout out my One Tree Hill dons. All right, go on. Sports facilities, a gym, four cafes, and a multi use games area. Come there's on. a 210 there seat auditorium for product it. announcements and lectures. And there's a new side the whole studio. structure sits yeah. atop a so called plinth no. of retail and manifest, dining spots manifest. intended to, in Heatherwick's words, create variety and fascination at a human scale. On the rooftop, behold Waffle. a 300 meter <laughs> landscape garden divided into zones, including a pause area for quiet contemplation. There's shady yeah, wooded spots there, dappled it. with pastel wildflowers, lily-covered fish ponds, rustic beehives, and a 200-meter running track commanding fearless panoramic views it. over London. Inside, a dramatic staircase floats diagonally Look through what Bjarke Ingalls describes as a single confident volume <laughs> akin to King's Cross Station's magnificent multi-arched concourse. All internal routes are easy and flowing and connected in order to inspire opportunities for chance encounters and foster all important creativity. Fundamentally, of course, it's an office block. So yeah. imagine hundreds of people staring at screens and zoning hey, out in meetings. Hey, at least they don't now. The very office. fabric of the building yeah, was right. chosen in line with You're Google's so-called healthy materials You're program. Some this initiative then, traces its origins back to the early days of Google, when a fretful Larry Page would prowl the office with a handheld particle counter, measuring air quality and particulates emanating from the walls and floors. Presently, Google runs a handful of offices across London. Famously, its Victoria outpost has beach huts and dodgem cars, while staff at Google's Covent Garden branch enjoy access to an allotment. Is one in Covent Garden? Um, and what do we get? Hey! It's a side men's studio. <laughs> <laughs> a little piece of the pie, that's what we're asking for. One room, one room. We'll, we'll settle at one room. <laughs> one room, bro. Just <laughs> a side men crash. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> How have we been negotiated down to one room from our name on the wall and the wall? This new thing. building, alongside two other nearby King's Cross sites being looked at by Google, will unify its UK team on one 7,000-person campus. Bruh. The centrepiece will be this, own the King's only Cross wholly Google design and built building outside the US. But hang on a minute, you're probably thinking, don't we all work from home now? At the time of writing, almost all of Google's 118,000 global employees are yeah, working in their jammies. <laughs> CEO Sundar Pichai has signaled he intends this policy to stand until the end of June 2021 at any rate. Because okay, while it's clear the more. nature of work has probably <laughs> yeah. changed forever, Pichai in, still has faith in the unique alchemy of in-person collaboration. We firmly believe that being together, having that sense of community is super important for whenever you need to solve hard problems, he told right. Time magazine. And that is why we have all of our sidemen meetings in person, important meetings mm -hmm. in person. Done because done otherwise done. we don't get anything done. It just doesn't Literally. doesn't doesn't work properly. Doesn't work. So we don't think the future is one hundred percent remote. We, are. we value our offices. Oh, we value God. the culture. <laughs> Certainly, Imagine King's Cross's lunchtime Google. restaurant and bar scene will rejoice when no, Google's laughing. shiny new HQ fills up with well-remunerated young go-getters, okay. potentially no, as soon laugh. as next yeah. year. <laughs> right now, it's still being built. Get a load of those Android logos running up its reinforced concrete oh, core. That's sick. But ultimately, Google's huge investment in London is a tonic for those Londoners who worry that, since the pandemic, their city has it's lost its mojo. Source, well, if anyone can help them find it, what do you think? Plethora Are these vast cap, office yeah. hulks nothing but dinosaurs from a bygone corporate era? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more hot desking tech content. Hot desking nice. tech content. Smashed it. That was good a good, video. That was good, a good voice over, you know. Yeah, that was, that was top tier. Can't What's wait to go. Manifesting, sidemen, hide and seeking, billion dollar Google headquarters. Hey, it's happening. Oh, nice. that, oh, we'll it's take happening. that thing. We'll take that. We've gone from a room Early to doors. now to a video. A no, and a room, and a room, and a room. Shotgun, and a room. Not Shotgun not seeking. Shotgun not seeking. Oh, we get, we get, we're actually cool. negotiating ourselves quite down here. We've gone. No, we'll take a room and a hide and seek. Oh, we're taking a room still. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys there someday soon. See you in the sideman room.